See, I told you this is the third or fourth project today. None of them going right. All right, welcome back party people. So today I'm voicing over because I forgot to put the windsock on the mic of the camera and most of the audio is unusable. I will insert some of the bits that were usable in at certain places in this video, but just know that. And today we're working on a 2002 Acura RSX. It has a, the symptoms were couldn't lock or unlock the trunk. So I think we had, it has a bad trunk actuator and I have ordered a new part before I started working on this car. And uh, we're going to install that actuator today and test it. You can see the broken part here on the screen. It's cracked on the top. And then also a piece of that plastic fell down and got jammed behind that gear. I'll also show you how to uh, take the interior panels off of the hatch in the correct order. And also where all of the screws and pop pins are that will make it easier for you to do a job if you have a similar problem. There's a little backstory on this car. Uh, when we when it first came to me, uh, there was problems with the trunk controls that it wouldn't, the electronic controls wouldn't work to unlock and lock the trunk. So I took apart the panels on the hatch and noticed that one of the tabs were broken off on the plug and the plug had actually separated from the actuator, uh, probably through, through vibration. So I just plugged it back in, put everything back together and it worked fine for like a year and a half. But now we have a different symptom here now. The, uh, it will make some noise, the gear will try to spin, and it's supposed to actuate this little lever here, which in turn uh, moves the trunk latch mechanism. Yeah, so you can see the gear, it tries to move, but it's just jammed in there with the with broken bits of plastic, so. My car's not even walking. Yeah. So you can see the wheel moving. It won't. Let's unlock it. And uh, so we know that we had power to the actuator. We know that our fuse is good, our relay is good, whatever is in between the wiring, the plug is good. So specifically just targeting in on this broken actuator part here. There's a new part that I ordered from Amazon and I'll put a part number up on the screen in case you need to order it. So I'm gonna put the new part and plug it in before I bolt it down just to test it to make sure it's actually moving. And uh, what I want to do here is show you how this actually works. So I'm putting the part up against where it bolts to. And then you can see how this little white lever piece goes over this round latch here. And that actuator actually moves that latch. And this is how it actuates either the lock or unlock mechanism. It moves that little white plastic piece sticking out there. And you can see that's your actuator for lock and unlock. All right, I'm just gonna plug it in here and make sure the actuator works and that the gears turn and that little white lever moves. So real quick, just a quick test to do this um, before you kind of bolt and secure everything down. Yeah, that one moves. You wanna what? You got me. Sidekick here handing me the screws. So we verified everything worked okay. So it's time now to secure this down. There are just two small screws that uh, bolt this down to the trunk lid here. And uh, it's hard to get this wrong. The electrical plugs are on the right side or the driver side. And uh, that little white lever fits over that white pin that sticks out there. And then you just kind of bolt it down, secure it down. So after I tighten these two bolts down, we're just gonna give it a test. All right, that's locked. Come on. All right, so that fixed our problem. All right, so now that we've verified the fix, we're gonna put the interior panels back on. This is the large panel that fits against the top of the hatch here. And I'm gonna, since these parts are already off, I'm gonna show you where all the uh, pop pins and the screws are. You can see here there is one Phillips head screw that lies in that pocket there. So you wanna remove that first when you're taking these panels off. And uh, you notice that it has quite a few of those uh, pop pins around those white pieces there that just pop into place. And you can see also that uh, I'm missing one or it broke, something happened to it. But uh, these things are easy to break, but take your panel tool and just go around the edge if you're removing this and pop all of those pins out. Those ones toward the front there are quite hard to get out. What you have to do is grab the back of the panel and push forward toward the car 
to get those to pop out and you have to use quite a bit of force. So don't be afraid to put some force on to get those. There's five across that front edge there that are really difficult. Uh, so go ahead and, and uh, put some uh, some heavy pressure behind that toward the front of the car and down as the, you can see as the, the hatch slopes here, push uh, forward and down uh, quite forcefully and that will uh, pop the remainders out. Now these are the side trim pieces and the side trim pieces have three pop pins and they also have a screw. The screw holds on the hangers for the actual deck of the car. So that kind of fake netting deck um, that comes up when the hatch comes up. You can see these hangers here. So if you pop the cap off, you can see there's another Phillips screw in there. So there's a Phillips screw and hanger on each side there. When you're removing these, you want to make sure that you remove those two pieces before you put the large before you remove the large piece because since you need to force that large piece forward, those two side trim pieces will get in your way. And so just go ahead and remove those. So here I'm just going to go through the motion of fitting the panel to the top of the hatch. And I'm sorry, it's kind of out of frame here. So I think somebody, uh, I think we zoomed in too much here. And it's just a, a matter of getting it to fit and to make sure your pop pins are lined up with the holes and then just kind of bang it in with your hand. And that will securely fit this panel to the hatch. You know, these, these white pop pins or clips, they're not really pop pins, they're just plastic clips because they don't have that little center piece that pops out. But uh, they're easy to break and over time they become fragile just like the plastic on that actuator. So, you know, you're going to break some of these sooner or later if you take these panels off. All right, here I'm about to give it the old elbow grease and just give it a good hit all around there. And I have H Money over there helping me hold it up while I do that and make sure everything's fitting and we look good there so we're going to put these uh, side trim pieces on and don't forget to reinstall the screw in the pocket all right now that we have the larger panel installed we're going to install the side trim pieces and uh, i do want to re-mention that uh, you, if you're removing these, you need to remove these first and therefore we're reinstalling these as our last step. And the reason being you need to push that larger panel toward the front of the car when you're removing it and these side pieces, the side trim pieces actually get in your way when you're trying to do that. So go ahead and remove those first when you're taking off the interior trim. Putting them back on is just a matter of aligning the plastic pins with the holes and just give it a firm push and that will snap everything into place. Don't forget your hangers and the Phillips screw that goes into the hanger. This will uh, finish off securing the side trim piece. All right, now it's just a matter of repeating the process for the driver's side. Again, align the pop pins with the holes and don't forget about the Phillips screw that is in the hanger for the deck. All right, that just pops in here. We're on our last little holder here. Net. Let's hang it first and see what happens. All right, that's gonna wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time. Skill up and ride, van up and go. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.